हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई बी ऑल डिजाइनिंग डेवलपर माय नेम इज इंशाल बेग एंड टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू बिल्ड एन अमेजिंग प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग नेक्स्ट जेस एंड आई होप यू विल बी एंजॉयिंग दिस वीडियो आल्सो लाइक यू एंड चेक माय ऑल द प्रीवियस वीडियोस लाइक प्रीवियसली वी हैव बिल्ड मेनी ऑफ द क्लोन्स यूजिंग नेक्स्ट जेस लाइक नेटफ्लिक्स क्लोन डिज्नी क्लोन एंड मेनी अदर क्लोन्स सो आई होप यू विल एंजॉय दैट एंड टुडे वीडियो विल बी आल्सो रियली हेल्पफुल बट टुडे वी विल बी नॉट बिल्डिंग एनी क्लोन इट विल बी आल्सो अ 10 मिनट वीडियो ऑफ नेक्स्ट जेस from which you will be learning things and you will be learning the things related to next year and i hope you will be enjoying like one to one tags like how to use uh, how to use next year and what are the important thing in next year and you can also see my next year tutorials which i have uploaded previously on because in that i have uploaded many of the important things which are uh, helpful for beginners and i hope you will be learning things from that tutorial so now uh, we will be starting with our video and today we will be learning how to build an amazing project using next year and now we will be starting to build our project using next so like i'm telling you we will be just building an amazing project using next year so now we'll be starting to build our project which we are building using next year so now here first of all i will be opening my vs code text editor from here so you can see now uh just this is my vs code text editor and now it is just opening so you have to wait a while till my text editor has been opened now you can see my vs code text editor has been opened now here i'll be closing all the previous window and the previous file which was just opened in my vs code now when you are just getting your file here i will be now opening one folder which i was just already having so here i will be opening the folder here and then it was in my local disk drive if i show you here this is the project uh, 12 folder here so if i just go back so i want to see which is the folder which is containing these things so you can see now this is the folder here so i will be dragging dropping this or you can say dragging dropping this folder into my vs code now here you can see we are getting all the things here like we need and you can see this folder it's looking awesome and the folder which we are getting so here i have telling you in the previous videos of next year like how to create folder using next year so you can check that previous videos and i will be also telling you in this video how to create but remember if you want to create a react js or next year folder uh, and you want to make any project or clone so it should be really important that node js should be installed in your operating system because if node js is installed then you can download react or next year folder otherwise you can not download that folder so here if i show you by moving command from when you will be downloading your node js you have to just write the command here first of all select the location here where you want to save your folder or where you have less space so i'll be selecting local disk set then you have to write npx create and if you want to create react folder you can write react or if you want to create next folder you can write next so I, we are working with next js so i'll be writing npx create next step then you have to write space and then you have to write your project name it can be any project name like what you are building you can write your topic name or out of your topic what the project you want to write you can write it's your choice and it's your own uh, like thing which you want to write and then you have to press enter and when you will be pressing enter your folder will be starting to create so i have told in previous video many times because of that i am not telling in this video so i will be moving to my terminal here and then i will be running this project 10 folder in my uh, default folder which is opera so here my terminal is running and now you can see now you have to write the command here which should be npm run dev to run your next js app if you are running a react app so you have to write npm start so here we are working with next js so i'll be writing npm run dev means run the development server on my default browser so i'll be pressing enter then it will be running my development server on my default browser and my development server will be named as localhost 3000 you will be seeing that you can see now localhost 3000 is my default now you have to open your default browser which is opera So I'll be opening my Opera browser, which is my default browser, and I'll be opening my localhost 3000 here. Now you can open your Google Chrome or Internet Explorer if, if that is your default browser. You can see now we are getting effect one, effect two, then the alert tag here and the effect three. Because in previous videos I've telling you how to use alert tag. You can check that video if you want to check. So here you can see I do this full screen means my coding side is now changed into full screen. Now we'll be using some of the things here to change this thing. Now in previous videos we have learned. how to build uh, how to use br tag with color effect and now i will be telling you how to use footer tag with color effect here so now for using the footer tag with color effect here you have to do one thing else here i will be now erasing this h1 tag from here save this file now then do same thing for here also go to layout tag and here also i'll be doing same thing save this file save this file okay press And you can see all the things has been gone. So here we are only getting the title, which is called effects and number. You can change the title also by moving in index or JS file. You can change the title and you can just name the title as like font. You can change footer section. So here save this. You can see we are getting the title footer section. Move to header. 
then when you are in your header text like previously we are using br tag so here i'll be writing h1 but before writing h1 i will be using bootstrap cdn because from that we can just uh, style our text so here i will be now copying the cdn of css here in previous video i have also telling you how to copy the cdn of css don't copy the cdn of js because we are not working with javascript so here i will be now moving in my header.js file paste that link in layout.js sorry here i will be pasting it underneath this paste save this and now when you will be saving this your link has been pasted here now move to footer uh, sorry header.js file here you have to write header now when you've written this header save this okay save this file here now you are writing the you are getting header you can see so this is the thing which you are getting and like this you can get the header now if i show you one thing here you can select the uh, any text mode or you can say you can run it in port uh, 1000 and you can see your server is offline and you can use live server here to work online with your server so here if i move to extension tab you can use a live server here so here i will be uh, telling you what is live server it is the live server here you can enable this to work with online so it's a really good uh, thing here which you can use and you can see this is the header tag you can style this by writing class then you can write text center and then you can write bg dash info text and then you can write dash white now save this you can see not is like that now you have to use a br tag so i will be writing br like this copy this br tag and then when you copy this just remember to write br tag like this now when you copy this paste it many times so it can go in the footer section here save you can see it is moving down again you have to paste so it can move more down because we have to use footer section here and here you can see we are getting this in footer so this is the thing which i want to show you like how to get this thing in footer now if i just show you here by copy pasting this now paste it here save this you can see header we are getting here so i will be changing this thing to footer right footer header save and then you have to do one thing here else like here i will be moving paste same thing here then i will be changing this to middle so do that middle you can use same thing in footer or layout tag also so if i just show you you can see we are getting these things so i will be taking it more down here so i will be doing one thing uh, I will be pasting it here now. Then you have to do one thing. You have to erase this middle tag from here. Means this H1 tag. Here I will be writing middle. So now you can erase this header. Change this to middle. So you can get this middle tag here. Now you can see. Save this. And here you can reload. So you are getting this in middle. So this was the thing which I want to show you. And today we have learned how to use live server using Next.js and I hope you understand this project. If you have understand and enjoy this, so remember to hit a like to this video. If you are new on the channel, hit the subscribe button, share this video with more family members of yours so they can learn about these amazing things which we are doing with Next.js and I hope you'll be enjoying all the future videos also which I'll be uploading using Next.js. So if you have enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe. I will be meeting you next video, next project. So for today, good. Bye.